Hello and welcome to my tutorial of the Adderall R4 Pro. So, first things first, you have the power input cable, and um, this is plugged into a plug socket. And next thing to do is um, plug in the 5 pin XLR cable into the last power input of the Adderall, like so. Um, is on the left of the other row. So, next thing to do. Power button. You have got to hold it to actually get this to work. And as you can see, the user interface is loading up. And there we are. Right, so, first things first, name your project. To do this, you'll have to click on the settings, and then you'll have to use the up and down arrows to actually use this menu. Now, if you go down to project name, click enter there, and then and there's your names. So, in this case, you'll set it as name one. So, press enter again. Now, to change the the um, the name itself, you'll use the dial. So if you go forwards you'll see here letters change forwards then obviously back is going back so set it back to where it was and if you want to keep the name press enter again and there we are exit to go back to the menu next thing you do is you go to the recording setup enter. Now, um, here you have all your selection for your input sources. So, the Adderall can do analog and digital. In this case, you'll want analog as you'll be using the XLR inputs. Now, um, film normally uses 48 kilohertz for the sample rate, so keep it as 48 kilohertz. Again, you'd use the um, dial to uh, uh, change the sample rate. Um, 24-bit is for cinema standard, so keep it as that, or set it to that in this case. Um, now, you've got different recording modes on the actual Adderall. So you go from 1 times mono, 2, 3, 4, 1 times, uh, one times stereo, 2 times stereo, then... 4 channel times 1 XLR. Now, this is a polywav, so you have 4 WAV files in one separate recording, uh, one individual recording. The other ones, obviously, they become separate WAV files, so 2 stereo just have left and right on 4 inputs. Um, you'll, you'll have, on the mono, if you've got 4 times mono, you'll have separate WAV files for each one. Now, I normally record at four times one because it's easier to handle when you're coming to editing. Um, now I'd keep pre-recording off because once you press record, you want to record. Um, project name um, you can, as you saw earlier, you can set it to the name you have or the date even. Um, name one, two, three. In this case, we named it as name one. Uh, pardon me. Right, so. And you've got limited time, limited link. Sorry, um, you'll keep those this as one, two, three, four, uh, and that's that. That's everything for that. Now, to actually record on the Adderall itself. Now, um, to set the input, you've got your gain here on this knob, and as you can see, um, the gain itself will change. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. You've got to set this as standby mode. So you hold the pause button and then press record. As you can see, that's flashing. Now, because it's flashing, you'll have this in standby mode. As you can see, it's blinking there. Standby. Now you can actually set the gain. So if you turn this up or down, down even, you'll see. It changes again to minus 26. 
2014. Um, I'd set it to minus 26 at first. And then this is your normal actual volume. So as you turn this up and down, the input selection on 1, 2, 3, 4, whichever this accommodates to, will go up or down. Now, I'd keep it here, all of them, first, as it would be best to do. So, there we go. And then there, and obviously this was set to here. Okay, cool. So, these would be changed to... Um, I'd be, it would be best to hit minus 6. Uh, just focus. There we go. Uh, minus 6 dB. You can go over it, but don't let it go hit the end as it will clip, as you may know. So, don't do that. My, keep it hitting at minus 6. It would be probably the best levels to do, to use. Um, next is to, obviously this is on standby mode, so once you want to record, press record, and there we go, it's now recording, as you can see, the time's going, um, zero, zero, 009, now, if you want to stop, there's a stop key, press stop, then do the same again, pause, record, to standby, And then, if you want to just not stand by, you press stop. Now, since you've standed, stood by and pressed stop, you won't go on to the next file name. You'll only go on to the next file name after you've pressed record, and it'll go to 10. Now, to delete files, you press enter once whilst you're on this menu. There's the file I just recorded. Press enter, go down, press delete. Are you sure? Press enter. There, it's deleted. As I didn't need that. So because of that, you now have what you were on before. So if you press standby, there we go. It goes back to how, what the name was before. And that's all of it, I think.